the Senate debate. What's your name? My name's Joe Lamy. Joe Lamy. I you. am involved in the debate, so how can I help you? Yeah, I wasn't contacted. I'm a candidate for U.S. Senate as well. And your name is? Daryl Leon McClanahan the third. Mr. McClanahan, have you received the letter that I sent to you in January of this year and the letter that was sent in late June of this year? I never got any letters. So your campaign lists uh, P.O. Box 77, Shell City, Missouri 64783 is the correct address for communications to your campaign? Yes. Although okay, my the letters were sent to that P.O. Box twice, first inviting you to the debate. That letter was sent in the third week of January of 2022 after yeah, had been, the um, third week of, on the secretary. Of, I'm sorry. You said the third week of January or June? I think so. I'm trying to remember when uh, those letters went out, but I can find out. Hang on just Okay, I didn't get those letters. I get I get mail at two addresses. The Secretary of State listed my home address as well as the P.O. box. And I never received yeah, any letters the about the invitation was sent May second. Okay, well May I didn't 2nd. I didn't receive it. And, and that that so, was sent to P.O. Box seventy seven in Shell City, which is the address listed on the Secretary of State's site. Um, and, and your campaign filing, which was confirmed by the Secretary of State. Okay, I never received it. And, okay, and then a letter was sent uh, a week and a half ago uh, that alerted you and others that are uh, listed. I, I definitely here. didn't receive a letter a week and a half ago about the debate. I've been checking okay. my mail. Sure, I can tell you what the letter said. The letter. Okay, what can we do we about it? I want to be part of the debate on Monday night. So I'm, I'm trying to explain that to you. The initial letter sent to the campaign. Okay, I'm trying to explain to. I don't want section. you to explain to me. Who's your supervisor? Do you want me to finish or not? I'd like to we speak are with not your inviting supervisor. you to the debate because you did not meet the criteria that we had outlined in the initial letter sent to your campaign. And what was the criteria? I didn't ever get the letter. Uh, among the criteria is uh, uh, the, the um, a certain amount of campaign um, uh, revenue as filed with the FEC's uh, website. So how uh, much money? Election. So how much money I have for the members of the Missouri public to to hear what the, I have to uh, say. Other Others were the polling. Uh, we were only inviting candidates that had polled at least 5% uh, in the, the poll that we conducted with Emerson College and The Hill. That poll was conducted in June. Um, and um, a publicly facing campaign website, um, campaign events that were, uh, a, that were um, news events that had been held by the campaign and invited to the media. And so there, there was a list of things that we would use to establish which candidates would be invited um, to the debate. And we went through and have, um, we originally sent invitations to every candidate uh, that was solicited. We have disinvited um, all but four. Disinvited all but four. So what, what do you mean by disinvited all but four? Well, we've sent the letter saying you did not meet the criteria. That okay, we so, so there will only be four people at the debate. Correct. There have been four people invited to the debate. Okay. And, uh, okay, so will that be a open, open to the public for people to come in and listen to the debate? No. Where is that going to be located at? The debate. It, it, uh, the debate will be held in St. Louis. Where? You have a physical at address? Studios. At, at, our, at our studios. Where's our, your studios? Our private, private studios. They're in Maryland Heights, Missouri. Maryland Heights, Missouri. So if I show up out there with a sign, I can come out there and publicly protest. I can, can't I? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, I mean that's your that's an American right. And, yeah, as long as you're not trespassing on private property, you're able to. Okay. Are you to a Democrat or a Republican? I don't have a party affiliation whatsoever. 
And I wanted to get your name one more time. I'm going to post this call at my YouTube channel. It's okay that I recorded you, and I'm going to post this call. It's not, you don't have my consent, no, sir. Okay, well, I don't need it. Missouri's a two-party state, and I could care less no, what you think about you that. professionally that you, that, that you not uh, post a conversation that I don't wish to be posted. Well, I'm going to post it, and it's going to be posted at Missouri Battle Flag, okay? And I think, you know, that's, I don't battle think, battle. I don't believe you guys sent letters to an other candidates. I don't believe you sent other letters to candidates, and it's all about the money, who has millions of dollars to get a message out, and you guys support that. You guys don't support freedom. I don't believe that. And, uh, what was your name once again? I've given it to you. If you've recorded it, review your recording. I did record it. So why don't you want to say your name? What do you have to hide? I've already given it to you, sir. You say you have a recording. You have my name. How much they pay you? Is that public record? Can I be of any further assistance? Yeah, I'd like to know your name. You're not proud Number to say your name? Steve, You're not proud of what you guys Steve. do? You manipulate... The media can is the enemy of the American... The media is the enemy of the American people. It's clear when Trump said fake news, you guys are fake news. Fake news.